The moment I cried in front of a television was... It happens very often, actually. I'm a very, very sensitive when I watch movies. I'm the worst person to watch movies with. I cry pretty much on any movie. When it, whether it's a drama, it's impossible to watch a movie with me. And I think one of the last movie I even had a bit of a tears was when I watched a TV series called Suits. In one of the last episodes, something happened and I just couldn't help myself but having a few tears in my eyes. And uh, I was actually watching it with my physio next to me and he gave me a hard time for a week. The moment when I let Andy cut my hair in Rome, that is also one of the moments that I cried after. I was a bit ashamed to come out on the court because he didn't brush my hair the proper way and I was very disappointed. So I think that's also one of the moments that I wasn't really happy with. Thank God there were actually an actual professional out there so they could um, fix it a little bit so I don't uh, make fool of myself coming out on the court. So Andy, uh, next time we see each other, mate, you um, better have a new brush and a better hair dryer, please. Cheers. Uh, the moment when Roger Rashid pushed me to the brink in my workouts, he was actually surprised that I could go as harder than him and even better. So he felt embarrassed in that kind of moment and he decided to make our workout a bit shorter. Later on I asked him why did he do that and the reason he said is because that was enough, which to me are totally inappropriate considering how strong and big he thinks he is. In actual fact, he's not that strong and capable of endurance workouts in the gym. I love it. You know, I love it, and you know, it doesn't get uh, you don't get the chance to hit that every match and every tournament. So when moments like that comes, you uh, you better take it or at least try to make it. And if it doesn't, you know, if you don't make it, at least try to look good for it.